Okay, so I understand you, you were offered um, a job to coach an African... Yeah, I was asked to go to Burundi. Burundi. To set up five academies for them. Right, okay. And, and uh, at the time it wasn't for me, but the timing wasn't right yeah. in my life. So, you know, I decided not to go in the end. But that was a couple of years ago, yeah. How did, how did that all come about? A friend of mine at Watford right. got on to another guy at Watford who knew he was looking for a coach. Right. And he just contacted me. We had a few meetings and in the end I decided, you know, no, not for me. Right. Time, really. Cause I'm, I'm sure Burundi beat Ivory Coast, you know, last yeah. year or the year before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beat 1-0. Yeah. Burundi, yeah. That's a, that's a big compliment, I've got to say. So what, what attracted you to coach others in the Gambia? Yeah, just something I want to get into now, my, my lifestyle, you know, it allows me to go, I like to, you know, try and make it a two, three times a year, hopefully, if I can keep going over there. And just something to offer, really, yeah. I think. Because what, what I would like to do, I mean, obviously I know you're, you're a competent coach from, <laughs> from, uh, from you know, the time of doing the yeah. FAB yeah. and stuff. Uh, so, ideally, I obviously want you to come out there, you're going out there on the 21st of January, and then to go back again in six months time or something like that with the same coaches yeah. and just kind of, um, you know, assess them and yeah. make sure, just basically the same with what we would do in the, in the UK. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be great. Can you, um, there's, there's quite a lot of stuff you're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, you, you're going to be consolidating the UK level one uh, into kind of two days. And uh, the same with the level two, we're going to squash that down to three days. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be stuff you're going to have to pull out. Can you kind of just briefly run through uh, what the coaches are, are, are going to expect? Well, the level one is for grassroots football, yeah. when you're teaching the kids 5 to 11. And hopefully that's all games that we can keep them going with. And the level two is racking it up a little bit more with more uh, 4v4s, more yeah. tactics, more defending, more attacking and knowing the principles of how to play. Right. Whereas the level one is just letting the kids play, letting them learn, and not so much coaching. Whereas the level two, a little bit more coaching. So right. that's the difference between the two, ones and twos, really. Right. So you've got your, your, your level ones being the grassroots. Yeah. Would you, um, if we get you back there in six months' time, would you be able to jump them from the level one up to the level two? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. No. Confident, some will be confident, yeah, no problem with that. Okay. What would be your ideal um, group size for, for the level one? Level one's about 20, maybe 24. Okay. That's the max, maybe at one for one. Level two, 18, maybe. Or two, 18. Yeah. Uh, would, would you prefer to work by yourself or um, a company with uh, an assistant? No, I don't mind an assistant, you know, yeah. Even if he's not qualified, he can help, help me, he can learn a bit, do the comments, do the demos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No problem with that. Because what I want to do as well, I mean, the main reason for you going out is coaching the coaches. Um, we're going to get coaches from all over the Gambia, and then the idea is that they go back to their respective yeah. areas, and then they coach their coaches and their players yeah. and, and get that coaching knowledge across. Okie dokie. Right. I think we're near enough. Yeah. Cheers, man. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers, man.